Oh, good morning, guys. It's, uh, Saturday. Phone! Whew, okay, well, let's go ahead and get this baby adjusted here. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Elijah and I'm your Saturday and we're not the cool kids. I'm gonna go turn off that light. Saving energy is saving the planet. <laughs> yes! Okay, let's not make that kind of voice again. In case you were widely misinformed, this week we are answering some questions that our fellow collabors have been asking us. However, Miss Taylor and Miss Haley did not ask me a question. However, Jeff, John, and Rachel did, so we're gonna answer their questions. These first questions are from John. If you could have an inappropriate flash mob anywhere, at any place, at any time, where, when, and who would it be at? Who would it be at? I don't know if that's actually your grammar or if you were just being humorous, but who would it be at does not sound correct. Oh, I'm not a grammar Nazi, it's just when it's, when it's that obvious that it's out of place, I'm just like, wait, was that on purpose? Anyways, where, when, and who would it be at, and why would you do it there? I don't even know what you mean by inappropriate flash mob. Do you mean like a, like a colony of nudists or something? I'm gonna say Los Angeles, about, you know, 5, 6 p.m., rush hour. Rush hour traffic, that would be fun. Or she'd probably also get arrested, but then again, who wants to tackle a naked man? Not the police. <laughs> if you were a Pokemon trainer and were catching Pokemon, what type of Pokemon would be the main one that you caught and why? I have not watched Pokemon or any of that in such a long time. Don't burn me to the stake. But from what I do know about Pokemon, I would say that I would want a Charizard. For one, I love the Asian culture and the whole Oriental theme of things, so I would probably get a Charizard. Why? Because he's a dragon. If you had one wish only that could never be undone once you wished for it, what would that wish be for and why? I'm assuming we're going by the standard genie rule of not wishing any more wishes, so what I would do is I would wish for 10 more genies. It was never a genie rule that you could not wish for more genies. Now to answer some questions from my friend Rat Chow. What is the best present you have ever received in your life? I'm going to say it was, um, probably my life. In the event of a literal gift, I would have to say... Piano lessons. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Why do you guys ask such weird questions? I'm kidding, it's not really that weird a question. Let's answer it, shall we? I'm not sure if you meant like a type of food or like just a literal food in itself. Whee! If it was a type of food, I would have to say Chinese food because I love Chinese food a lot. In the event of it being an actual food food itself, then I would have to say vegetable fried rice because I could definitely live off of rice if it was that delicious all the time. And if it wasn't, who cares? I pick my poison. Wait, Elijah, we've got to be smart about this. I would prefer manna from heaven, but since that is not a very common occurrence, it would have to be something very vitamin rich, otherwise I would die of malnourishment. So it would probably have to actually be some kind of food supplement bar that's been put together. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Well, you guys know how much I love Asian, so odds are you guys can probably presume that my favorite YouTuber will be Niga Higa or Kev Jumba and those people. Oh, and Barretta and Beretta. They're really awesome. More, more question, more, more, more quick question, more, more question. Jeff Young. Yeah. How many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? Well, Jeff, I would say that I qualify a man as a man when he's mature. I don't really say that he has to go down X number of roads. What I would say is that when he can take responsibility for himself and when he is responsible for himself and he's, you know, it's like you break something, you fix it or you pay for it, you get a job, you're doing things in the adult world. That is when I would consider you to be more mature. But even then, there's a lot of adults that are really immature. Not to say that, you know, <laughs> goofy immature. I'm just saying that, like, immature in the sense that they don't handle their situations. They just avoid them all the time. That's immature. Because, I mean, really, that's one of the reasons... No! Because really, I mean, that's one of the reasons for growing up in the first place is to grow up and mature, right? What is the best facial expression you're willing to make on camera? That's a tough call because I make a lot of weird facial expressions. So I'll just put up some pictures that you guys can look at and then you can compare and just see which ones you think are the best ones. Favorite musical instrument? I don't know, I'd have to say something like, you know, the accordion? I'm just kidding. My favorite musical instrument is piano. Well, I'm afraid that was all the questions that they were asking me because Taylor and Haley apparently forgot no harm done, because I love Taylor and Haley. They're both really cool people, and they deserve to be liked, and they deserve a crown. They deserve to be prom queens. They just... <laughs>
<laughs> well, I believe that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you guys for having me on. We're not the cool kids. It's really great to be a part of a really cool collab channel with some really cool people. And I think we are going to have a lot of fun making videos. What is up with my hair? I've got like this Elvis thing going on today. Well, guys, I've been your Saturday. You've been awesome. Thanks again for having me here on We're Not the Cool Kids. Guess I can give you guys a quick update by saying that I recently did a collaborated music video to the song Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen with my friend CLVids14. If you want to check that out, the link will be right over here, and you can go ahead and click it right over there. That'll be a lot of fun. Also, if you want to check out um, my most recent music video that will be out really soon in honor of St. Patrick's Day, along with my St. Patrick's Day vlog, it will be right there. And you guys will be able to click that spot and it'll be able to take you there. If not, link is also down in the box of wisdom. Definitely go check that out. And uh, thank you guys. I'm really hoping to make some awesome videos for you guys in the near future. Well, happy Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that was probably pretty gross. I won't do that again. However, I'll have to think of some other ways to destroy the camera when I leave. I know just what'll bust the camera. Accordion music.